Ambition can be a good thing. Greed is not. This is Story Arcs. I'm Art. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. So when I was in the military, I had this boss. And this guy was always vying for whatever way he could to accelerate his career. So we worked in hospital administration. And this guy had the idea that he wanted to go and serve in Washington, D.C., like get into the whole political arena and be in that type of circle and stuff. So the way that he figured he would do it was he was going to build some project on the base where we were in Nellis Air Force Base and then say, hey, this is this thing I accomplished. And now I can bring this with me to Washington, D.C., do the same thing. So in the process of doing so, he goes and he gets a building for us to stock with forms and make it into like a, a warehouse for forms for all the hospitals across the entire Air Force. Like this was his grand design. But within the Air Force, there was already an organization that did that. And they created and housed all the forms for all organizations within the Air Force. So what this guy wanted to do was basically take away the medical forms piece from that organization and create his own organization to compete with it. Right. In his mind, this was a good thing. So I ended up being the dude that had to build this whole thing. So he goes and he gets a warehouse and he's like, all right, I want you to clean out this old busted up warehouse with all this junk inside of it. And then I want you to stock it with new shells, set up lights, make it all nice. And then we're going to start getting forms and you're going to stack all those forms in order, label the whole nine yards. Right. So like it took like six months. And in the entire time where I'm doing all of this, I'm dealing with these guys from the Form Squadron. We'll call it the Form Squadron because I don't remember the exact name. But basically, these guys, they warehoused and created all the forms used within the Air Force. And they were a bunch of cool dudes that worked over there, right? And I dealt with them on a regular basis because every time the hospital needed more forms, I had to go over there, order from them, then pick them up and take them back to the hospital. As this sergeant went about changing things, I would no longer take the forms to the hospital. I would instead take them to this new warehouse for the hospital's forms. As time went on, somebody up high got wind of this and they were completely like, nah, I don't know what's going on here, but we shutting this you down. Thought I was feeling you? But instead of them coming after this sergeant within the hospital administration, they came after the dudes at the forms squadron. It must have been bad because when I showed my face up at that place afterwards, I was like public enemy number one. And the dudes that used to serve me and chit chat with me, you know what I'm saying? They were just all looking at me like, yo, we got to fight. And so I'm assuming that some of them must have either got dock pay or lost rank or lost promotion opportunities because there was even one where the dude comes to me and he's dealing with me like real negatively. You know what I'm saying? I'm like ordering forms for the hospital like I regularly would. And he's just giving me like the ice grill. And I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, what's wrong with this dude? Like, what's happening here? And he walks off, you know, and he's like mumbling under his breath. And I'm like, well, what's the problem? And he turns around. And he starts like charging towards me. And there's like this counter, this tall counter in between us. And old boy starts charging towards me. But there was like this OG that worked there. And he was always really cool with me. So even though everybody there was mad at me at this point, he was still cool. So he stops the dude from charging. And I'm just standing there like, do what you're going to do, right? And he's like, go about your business, man. Things is already bad as they are. You don't want them to get worse. That's what led me to understand like this guy had been punished on some level. I don't know what. But he had definitely been punished. And now he understood that I was the reason for his punishment. But all I was doing was following orders on the sergeant who was above me. Right. Long story short, that relationship in that building with me soured. And every time I went there, it was mad uncomfortable. It was always awkward because you got all these people looking at you like you've done something to them when you have no idea what's actually going on. Right. And the sergeant moved on. He got his promotion. He went to Washington, D.C., and when he gets over there, like a month later, he's calling back to the office, the hospital administration office at Nellis, and he's asking to speak with me. So he gets on the phone with me and he's like, yo, how's everything going? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yo, listen, all those forms that we were making, all those custom forms that we created that you designed up, you know, I need you to send them to me. And so I go to my sergeant, my new sergeant, and I'm like, hey, sergeant, you know, sergeant old boy over there, he's asking for these forms and stuff. So she gets on the phone with him. And she's like, listen, dude, you don't work here no more. And anything that you created while you was in this office, it belongs to this office. You ain't getting it. So he was real upset. He was arguing. He was trying to, you know what I'm saying, convince her and control her to get her to send him these forms. In the end, 
They didn't send him anything, but it made me understand very clearly, like this guy doesn't care who gets crushed, doesn't care who he hurts, as long as he gets what he wants for his own career. The moral of the story is ambition is good. Greed is not.